Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue with the round two here of the 2019 Gibraltar Darts Trophy. And introduce to the stage a host nation qualifier. An ever present for Gibraltar at the PDC World Cup of Darts. He's dynamite, Dyson Peroni! to the stage a winner of six Euro Tour titles. The former UK Open champion. He's the reigning World Cup of Darts and German Darts Masters champion. Don't stop the party. Snake bites. Peter Rahn. Y'all thinking, y'all thinking that you can now think me, but you can't frankly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't party like that. Don't stop the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't party like that. Don't stop the party. I'ma give it to you. Ah, ah. Now give it to me. Ah, ah. I'ma give it to you. Ah, ah. Now give it to me. Ah, ah. In any situation in life that a man in rainbow colored trousers, a pink Mohican, bouncing around on a big stage in front of a fair few hundred people is the most reserved person in any situation. But that might just be the case tonight as Peter Snakebite Wright takes on Dyson Parodi, one of the leading players from Gibraltar and a former quarter finalist at this very tournament, who confidently said, Peter who? when he was told who he was playing in the second round of the Gibraltar Darts Trophy this year. Perodi more than rode his luck in coming through against the gigantic Norwegian Cordeca in round one. But my word, did he let everybody know about it when he won it. He took it 6-5, surviving five match darts, and now gets to test himself against a former UK Open champion and the second most successful player in the history of the European Tour. One of them will be wearing loud clothing. One of them will just be very, very loud. You can figure out which is which over the course of the next, potentially, 11 legs. First leg, Peter to throw first. Game on. Rob Malarkey in the commentary box for this one. It is the number eight seed, Peter Snakebite Wright, one of the form players this year against Dyson Parodi, one of the... Greatest players we've ever seen 100. from Gibraltar, arguably the best. Yeah, two of the European Tour's wallflowers on stage for this one. Peter Wright, the number eight <laughs> seed against Dyson Parodi. I think this has 81. the potential to be explosive in one way or another. But Parodi, just going back to that victory over Kordek yesterday, 5-2 down, came back to win it 6-5. 140! Nobody had better finishing stats than Parodi yesterday. Six out of nine. A day one best. Three one eight is in the mix as well. Forty five. And it was in response to a really good start by Decker. There was a one three seven checkout from him early on, which suggested that he was set in the quicker of the two. Eighty five. Well, I don't know what darts these are. Peter Wright's using. I don't think I've seen him use them before. I mean, that shouldn't surprise 41. anybody. 
Dyson Parodi has thrown nine darts and scored 167. 57, sorry. No, 67. There we go. My maths did fail me. Where is Peter Wright? 21. Is on a potential 14 dart leg. Now, the finishing may have to be as good as yesterday for Dyson, but the scoring is going to be, uh, have to be a lot better. Yeah, and he may also have to just draw on the memories of He's three years ago leg. as Peter, Peter Wright takes out that 55 for a 14 reverse. dart. At... Game on. Drawing on those memories of 2016 when he made the quarterfinals, beating among others Yellowklassen and Max Hopp before losing 6-5 to MVG in the last eight. Missing match darts against the world number one, who's just illustrated how hard it is to get match darts against him. 70. Peter Snape. I was expecting some sort of pun there, and it's just his name. I'm just impressed. Oh, what did you did you read that with your finger going along each? Well, yeah. you, <laughs> it, it you need a, bit, a ruler to go. It was a Peter bit. Snape by. Oh no, that's just his name. Yeah. Well, it was. The font was unusual, and <laughs> it was multicolored. I mean, 140. Can you read that? I'll give you a clue. Peter it says exactly the same thing. Snake bite. But yeah, there we go. Is that is that Peter Snake bite right yeah, again? That, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well 100. Done. Gold star for Malarkey. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just still coming to terms with Jose de Sousa's we all encounter are. with Van Gogh. 140. We all are. Oh, Parodi is absolutely loving a fight. 70. PD require 151. You would think he'd have six darts from here. May only need the three. 137. Oh, Dyson, you're you sure that's the right thing to do, Peter? Oof. Deflection, another one of those, and... Peter Rice 70. may have had his fingers burned. PD require 14. Oh, that's the normal route if you're on one 6 1, but he was. No, he was on 1 5 1, so that's why he's left double 7. He it doesn't matter leg. anyway. Peter Wright. Peter Wright seemed to be on autopilot, but has autopiloted his way to reverse. a 2 0 lead with 107 Game average, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> The best way to beat Dyson Parodi is to just shut him up. He is at his best, a bit like the likes of Gerwin Price, Kim Hybrex, when he has that aggression, when he is shouting and bawling. But that only happens when he's starting 66. to play well. He was kept very quiet by Core Decker in the early stages, but as he came back into it, he got more effusive, yeah. so much so that Kirk Bevins, the referee, had to have a word with him. That's the that's the flip side with Dyson Brody. OK. 140. Make sure he doesn't get off to a flyer. Don't give him any encouragement. But by the same token, if you do start well, don't let him back into it because it will arguably have a, a worse effect. 101. <laughs> <laughs> what a great reaction that was. 45. If somebody can just make that into a GIF for me at some point, that will get plenty of use. You could actually just superimpose the words of Kenneth Williams on top of that as well. It would work quite well. well Dyson Perodi is approaching the stage where he's hit as many fives as he has twenties, <laughs> which is not good enough. 136. Because Peter Wright has gone 14 data, 14 data. He's on a potential 13 data here. And at this rate, Peter Wright is not only going to win this, 16. he's going to win it with the highest Did average of the tournament. Uh, That's 40. saying something because Nathan Ashman will average 108 in the first game of the day. Game show on the third leg. Peter Wright. Yeah, maybe a little bit premature to be thinking about whitewashes. We've not had one this weekend, but we are on course for one here. We've had a, Dyson a cluster of 6 1 score lines today. Game on. Perhaps. The unlikely one being Smith against Danny Nopper. I don't know. When there's 30 points in the averages, I think 100. you can start thinking about whitewashers. But let's see, because Dyson Perodi manages to stay straight, picks up a ton, and does give us a bit of a celebration. Of course, the other part of the crowd do have another home hope to cling to later. David France is up against Gerwin Price, which should be a fairly sedate affair, I would have thought, later on as well. Well, history 60. does not 
support David Francis's claims to a spot in the final day, does it? Having played Gerwin Price in his one other appearance in the Gibraltar Darts Trophy. Yes. And lost 6-0. 125. Yeah, that's when Price was a qualifier as well for this tournament. But yeah, this is the first time that we've had two Gibraltarians involved in the second round. 100. On the European Tour here on the Rock. Well, the deficit is five, but you can add on these because Perodi threw first. Let's stay there to try and leave 96. 81. He's <laughs> so frustrating. Thing is, well, I mean, he's he... not here 180 yet. He keeps he's having two great darts and one poor one, and he's still averaging about 100. 110. Right. 155. He's not very far away from doing something extraordinary in this game, Peter Wright. You feel as though he wants to set the bar high here this weekend as well, Peter Wright. Get off to an absolute flyer. 90, Dyson, in your requirement, 141. And he has started sluggishly on occasion this year on the European Tour, but he's certainly come good. He's made one final and 100. four semi-finals in Europe so far this Peter season. Peter requires 65. And in his two recent semis in Vienna and Risa, he was on the receiving end of a 7-6 scoreline, so he's been knocking on the door. Certainly knocking on the door here, 65 away, tops away from a 4-0 lead. Game and that's exactly leg. what he's got. Peter right. And that was another 14 data. Fifth leg, Peter to throw right. first. Over the last game on. What, pretty much since just before the match play when Peter Wright won three titles in a row. He hit this spell of form and has been using tops much more regularly and is, is arguably right up there with the best double top hitters on the planet. It is so reliable for him. At the minute, he's four out of five 30. on the doubles. The only loose darts he's tending to have is just one at the end of a scoring visit where it goes in the one of the five. But this is turning in to an absolute annihilation. 60. Nicholson and I were just chatting about that quote from Mensur Sulovic earlier when Sulovic, in the aftermath of his win against Ian White in that 100. Pro Tour final, said, Ian White, Daryl Gurney, Gerwin Price and me are the best players at the moment. I think on the evidence of what Peter Wright has done since July the 1st, you'd have to consider him as well it as being the info or one of the info players. 140. You can see, 140 is not enough for Peter Wright. He just, he's so frustrated he hasn't got a 180. He wants to have one of those perfect visits, whether it be a 180, or whether it be a 177, which is what he's going to look for here, or a 170, or a massive checkout. But certainly, I mean, Peter White going into the world match play looked the best player. 60. At the world match play, he looked the best player. It took a heroic performance from Darrell Gurney to stop him at the world match play. But maybe since the match play, it hasn't quite been there. It was disappointing 45. on the World Series from him. Did you require 141? Maybe this is the perfect visit he's after. No, no, it isn't. 105. But he's not far off. And it's the first leg that will go into a sixth visit. But you don't anticipate it making a seventh visit. No, and it won't make too much of a 90. difference out of thought in the Did final reckoning, certainly as 36. far as this leg is concerned, and certainly as far as the match is concerned. 100 points the deficit here double 18 for Peter Wright for a 5-0 scoreline oh. 18 well hope here for Dyson Brody Dyson to get a leg on the board 136. a rare opportunity if this goes maybe a little reaction but it's not going to go with a single five on the board the Dyson Perodi and the five 82. segments uh, I mean it's almost 18. indecent the amount of time they're spending with each other Double eight. That's right. Splits it and sticks one just outside. Two. And six another just outside. Dyson and Dyson Perodi is being given away into this game to avoid the whitewash. And there he is. On the fifth leg. Dyson Perodi. As if to say, where did that come from? Or maybe it's to say, how come it's taken me so long? Six leg, Dyson to throw first. Well, he has avoided the whitewash despite what this stat suggested not too long ago. Peter Wright will be really annoyed with himself with that. Well, I mean, he, he wins a leg or hits a 180 and he goes 60. off on a, you know, 20-yard dash to celebrate it. He wins a 20-darter when 
his opponents miss loads of dots. And he still finds a way to go on a bit of a walkabout and mark the occasion. Oh, Finally, oh. Peter Wright hits a perfect visit. <laughs> Terrific reaction from Peter Wright as well, the way he just turned around and glared. 95. Three perfect darts for Peter Wright at the start of leg six. Make that four. Hold your horses. Oh, Dare we dream once again. Six and a bit years since Ross Smith in this venue. Peter Wright, astonishingly, has not hit that many nine darters. He only has two in his PDC career. And he hits low to 180s and he takes out big combination finishes. He's not going to make it three just now. 105. And it could be a 10 darter that just reasserts his authority in this one and just re stamps his class. Stepping on the throat of Dyson Parodi once again. And once again, that single five for Parodi. The love affair Easy. continues. <laughs> and even a treble five for good measure as well. Switches over. 27. Four out of 13 on the doubles. Right, th this game should be over. This this game should be done and dusted, and Peter Wright should have won it 6 0 with 110 average. As it is. Parodi's in the fives again, by the way. 90. So if this game was about hitting the five segment, nine. Dyson Parodi would be world number one and a multiple world champion. He is absolutely mustered at it. He's on the sixth there in the end. Peter Wright. Four out of 13 becomes five out of 14. Four Seven 14 darters, a 13 darter. Game on. There you see it. And Peter Wright managed to miss a whole load of darts when it could have been another five visit leg. But it has just been far too much for Dyson Parodi tonight. I'll tell you what, he's going to end this tournament with cracking finishing stats. <laughs> Six out of nine Fifth yesterday. Year. Maximum return so far, 70%, 70% for the weekend. Can't argue with that, Dan. Unfortunately, if you're 36 points behind in the first nine average, you're not going to get that many opportunities, Dyson. 100. Even if you do, hoover them up. No real chance of hoover, hoover tonight, are there? Not much to shout about for the Parodi fans. 45. One hundred. Winner of this face is Mensor Sulevich, who was pretty convincing in his win over Vessel Nyman. Scottish fans in. Peter Wright giving them what they want. He's the only Scottish player in action today. One hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, no Cameron Menzies this weekend. Missing him on the European tour. Cameron Menzies missing a lot today in the challenge oh, tour. Oh, yeah. there we go! Hey! <laughs> 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 you require his arms to the heavens. That might be the last thing he does in this tournament, Dyson Perodi. Double eight. And another hey, 14 shot. darter and gets the job Peter done. Wright. Peter Wright, excellent in seeing off Perodi. Averages a ton. It probably could have been a whitewash. Maybe it should have been, but Wright will take on Suljevic. For a spot in the quarterfinals. Peter, congratulations, a 6-1 win, 100 average, and yet by the look on your face, you think it should have been better? Yes. Yeah, a lot better, yeah. Too many 14 dars, I think I had six of them, didn't I? Uh, five of, uh, five of them in the 13 darter, actually. So, 
Yeah. Now, that's, that's 107 average 14 darters. They're good, Peter. Yeah, but I lapsed, lapsed the days he had seven, six starts a uh, double earlier, didn't I? I let him have one. You are the second most successful player on the European Tour in its history, but this is one you haven't won. It's one to tick off your list, isn't it? I've got to the final, lost semis as well. Uh, but, you know, the, the better player won on, on the day. But what, what the most important thing is, yeah, we're getting bigger, bigger crowds uh, in Gibraltar. And thank you all for turning up. So. Always a crowd pleaser. Peter Snake Bite Right, former UK Open champion, six time winner on the European Tour, 100 average. And what a game we have with Snake Bite taking on Mensur Suljevic for a place in the quarterfinals.